My name is Amata, and in this Red Gaming Tech video, I'm here with an update on the whole loot box situation. Now, I don't need to go too much into this because, well, you know, it's been all over the place the last few days and the last couple of weeks. But obviously, loot boxes, microtransactions, and the predatory practices that can sometimes come along with them have very much been at the forefront of the discussion lately due to their inclusion in Star Wars Battlefront 2 and the pay to win and just incredibly terrible nature of those loot boxes and their implementation. However, one of the things I did discuss in one of my videos on Battlefront 2 was the fact that Belgium, that being the Belgium Gaming Commission to be exact, was going to be investigating both Battlefront 2 and Overwatch to see if their loot boxes were indeed gambling. Now I have a couple of updates to this. Now the first one is actually an article that popped up late last night. And this article was posted by the Belgian news site VTM. Now unfortunately the post that originally posted this in English, just use Google Translate and you know, it's unreliable as always. And it said, quote, the mixing of money and addiction is gambling, according to the post. Now what's interesting is that we actually have a bit of an update now from the Belgian authorities in that the Belgium Gaming Commission has not actually finalised their decision on whether or not loot boxes are gambling. That statement that I just said is their intent rather than its conclusion. So basically they're just saying, is this the case, rather than this is the case, if that makes any sense. Now, they are saying that they're going to be looking at the loot boxes, the spread of loot boxes, sorry, in video games, obviously the difficulty in regulation and... While again, the translation is a bit rough, it calls for, quote, closer cooperation between government software development, software developers, sorry, and rating agencies. And with the right roles and consistent enforcement, it should be possible to protect players from the harmful effects of gambling without compromising the games themselves. Now, what is interesting, however, is that the original sort of miscommunication, I suppose you could say, was actually lend quite a lot of weight and credence by the fact that it was commented on by the Belgian Minister of Justice. And despite the fact that the gambling, sorry, the Gaming Commission hadn't yet reached a verdict, he actually weighed in. And he said, quote, mixing gambling and gaming, especially at a young age, is dangerous for the mental health of the child. And he also called for it to be banned. And while he did say this process would take time, he said, quote, we have to go to Europe, but we'll certainly try to ban it. So he did comment on this before the Gaming Commission actually reached a decision on whether or not they rule that loot boxes are gambling. However, it's not just them that have been weighing in. This is very much the proverbial snowball that's going to roll downhill and pick up speed and mass as it goes on. And it's already started. As we have a comment from a politician down in Hawaii by the name of Chris Lee. And he has publicly called for legislation to end the sale of loot boxes to minors. And he said in a statement to the press that Battlefield 2 was predatory and went on to say, quote, We're here today to ensure future protection for kids, youth and everyone when it comes to the spread of predatory practices in online gaming and the significant financial consequences it can have and has been having on families around this nation. This game is a Star Wars themed online casino designed to lure kids into spending money. It's a trap. This is something we need to address to ensure that particular kids who are underage, who are psychologically and emotionally mature enough to be able to gamble, which is why gambling is prohibited under 21, are protected from being trapped into these cycles which have compelled many tho folks to spend thousands of dollars of do gaming fees online. Essentially, the TLDR of all of that, and excuse my terrible on-the-fly impression, by the way, I actually feel kind of bad for even attempting it, but oh well. Uh, the TLDR of all of that is, is he's going to be investigating a way to basically respond to what he views as selling loot boxes to children, and is going to be effectively calling for a ban. And he went on to say, quote, One of the things that's really disturbing about this to me is this was previously a business practice that was mostly seen in the mobile gaming market, and now it's moved into the main event. 
This is a AAA title that's been released by the world's largest gaming studio and has the most popular intellectual property in the world attached to it and is marketed squarely at children. Some of you folks who are older may remember a character called Joe Camel. He's not around anymore. We don't allow Joe Camel to encourage your kids to smoke cigarettes and we shouldn't allow Star Wars to encourage your kids to gamble. Now, I'm not going to disagree with anything he just said, to be honest with you. But the issue isn't just our kids being encouraged to gamble. I mean, obviously, that is a huge problem. And you could argue with Star Wars that they very much are. Whether or not the game should be given to kids, that's a different matter entirely. But it, it will be given to them. It's not a matter of if. It will be. And those kids would have been exposed to the rather predatory, very time-consuming and rather expensive microtransactions and loot boxes within the game. So, he definitely has a point when it comes to Star Wars, but generally speaking, I just I just think it's good for loot boxes to be recognised as gambling, for the games to be rated as such if they have it within there, and also for it to be recognised that these loot boxes and microtransactions can be really predatory, and just slip stacking an A18 label and warning you that this contains gambling does not give you a, you know, green flag to start doing what EA tried to do with Battlefront 2. That's my point. You know, market the game to adults if it has you know gambling like loot boxes, sure, great, definitely 100% agree, but I'm just saying, can we not also just say, look, rein it in guys, can we not have like really predatory taking advantage of people mechanics within this game? Because, you know, there are adults who have game, uh, gambling issues too, and obviously, even if they don't, being forced or being made to feel like they have to pay a bunch of money is still wrong, even if they're an adult. At least in the case of microtransactions, loot boxes, and the game being heavily skewed via development, and how the game is developed to cough up a wad of cash. So, the TLDR of all of that is EA done fucked up. They have officially poked the bear. In fact, they have poked two bears. One that potentially could see a ripple effect across all of Europe, and one which could effectively see a similar ripple across the USA. Not exactly two small markets. I mean, even if it was just Europe, that is really, really bad. But the fact that Hawaii are getting involved as well, you know, obviously, you know, it is just Hawaii, but it's still something. And if they do investigate and decide to ban loot boxes or put some sort of regulation on them, which they do desperately need, um, other states might look at it and go, do you know what, guys, they're kind of right and add it as well, and so on and so forth. So basically, EA have pushed things way, way too far. And, well, this could see a huge change within the industry when it comes to how loot crates and microtransactions are implemented within games. We all knew this was coming, to be honest. I knew eventually someone would step too far, and we'd be seeing some governmental or official bodies getting involved, because, well... They rightfully should, to be quite frank with you, how ridiculous this situation has gotten. And I just don't expect it to be this soon, to be honest with you. I thought, oh, we're going to be under the, you know, the shadow of loot boxes and microtransactions for a couple of years before anyone official gets involved. But, you know, EA, you know, dug too greedy, dug too deeply and too greedily, excuse me. I got that mixed around, didn't I? Regardless, they messed up, they got too greedy, TLDR, the government's now looking into them in two places... Rip. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.